Hello everyone, this is Hannah Brosh. I am a fourth grade reading teacher at Metter Elementary School, and this is the video for fourth grade parent orientation. So the first step of parent orientation, I'd like to talk about Class Dojo. Class Dojo is what we in fourth grade use for um, behavior management. There's an app that you can install as a parent on your phone. You can have instant access to Class Dojo. Um, positive behaviors are rewarded periodically based on student points. So usually on Fridays, we'll reward the students with um, their sometimes material rewards. Sometimes they are not material. Sometimes they're just a little bit of free time, uh, but we reward them periodically. Uh, points are visible to teachers. Um, students usually cannot see their points. Um, at times, they'll be visible to the students, but usually they will not be. Um, as far as your access to the points, we prefer to contact you directly with any behaviors that your child may be consistently exhibiting. So if we see a frequent behavior, we'll be sure to contact you uh, directly. Our school rules, which we um, enforce using Class Dojo, are listen to and respect all adults, students, and property. Keep hands, feet, and objects to yourself. Use polite and kind words and walk quietly on the right side of the hallway. At Metter, we are making several efforts towards social distancing to combat COVID-19. Students are expected to stand one square apart in the hallway. So when they're in lines, we avoid having them standing on top of each other. We prefer them to be one step, at least one square apart. Students are expected to wear masks if they bring them. We encourage them all times besides lunch. Classrooms are cleaned during transitions between classes and at the end of each day. Students are spaced in classrooms as best as possible as we have room and seating arrangements available. So this year, this is the big kicker, we're gonna be uh, doing standards-based grading. What this means is that your child's gonna be assessed based on the mastery of specific standards. So rather than seeing an average, like a 70 or a 90 or a 100, you will see what standards they've specifically mastered and which standards they have not yet mastered. After three attempts at a standards-based assessment on the standard, if your child still has not mastered that, um, then you will see did not master. It'll be DNM, I believe, on a report card. Um, but until we have gone through the entire year and done three remediations and three separate testing opportunities, your student will have not yet mastering, unless of course your child masters it. Once your child has mastered the standard, it will show up as mastered. The ones your child is still working towards and learning about will be not yet mastering, okay? Google Classroom is an online resource that we use for practice activities and differentiated learning. Birthday celebrations this year, kind of switching gears, um, they're welcome during scheduled lunchtime, which for us is 11.45 to 12.15. We encourage cupcakes, cookies, and individually wrapped items, and these must be sealed in original packaging, so no homemade items allowed for birthday celebrations for the class. Any transportation changes must be submitted in writing or by phone to the MES office by 1.30. We do, not re, uh, we do not accept verbal messages from your child because it is a safety concern. Hi, this is Cindy Hall. I'm lead teacher for science. This year in science, our topics are life science. Uh, in life science, we have ecosystems, food chains, producers, consumers, and decomposers. Earth science, uh, we have states of matter, water cycle, weather, stars, and phases of the moon. In physical science, we have force and motion, simple machines, and light and sound. Uh, for homework, we really don't have homework per se each night. They will have a study guide to study before test, and they may have uh, data sheets to complete at home. Thanks for listening in. All right, this is Ms. Pam Heath, lead for social studies this year, and our topics for this year will be the Revolutionary War and its famous figures, our beginning government, 
Westward Expansion, Abolitionist and Women's Suffrage Movement, Civil War, Reconstruction, Economics, and we look forward to teaching your kids this year. And our homework that we will be giving out will just be review study guides. Hey guys, this is Miss Alex Powell, and I am your math teacher. Hi, this is Ms. Lauren, and I am the other math teacher. Um, this year in math, we're going to be focusing on multiplication facts. They are a must. So go ahead and start working on memorizing them now. And some ways that you can do that at home is, of course, reflex math, which your kids are very familiar with, and also the old-fashioned way with just regular old flashcards. Um, some daily requirements for our math class, the materials that will be needed will be your yellow Nikki folder, and in that folder you will find homework. Um, it's not going to be sent home daily, so just make sure that you're checking that folder each night. Um, they will need to bring their pencil pouches with their materials and their math journals. Um, some topics for the year that we're going to be working on is place value which will be rounding and addition and subtraction. We will then move into multiplication and division of whole numbers. We will move to fractions. After fractions, we move to decimals, and then we'll end the year with geometry and measurement. Um, when you do receive homework, make sure that they're working on those each night, and there will be no more than eight problems per night. Thank you. Ms. Paul. Hey guys, this is Miss Julie Rice. I teach reading along with Miss Hannah Brosh. Um, I'm going to be going over our reading expectations. So the first bullet says there's no homework for reading except for reading 20 minutes a night. Um, we, uh, we believe that reading nightly helps improve their reading ability. Um, the topics for the year are skills to understand literature, which are dramas, poems, and text structure, skills to analyze literature, which are themes, inferring, and allusions, um, independent reading, and we work on their fluency, accuracy, and retelling. Um, and then Miss Alyssa will be in to go over their writing expectations. Hi, this is Miss Alyssa. I am the writing teacher for all the students in fourth grade. This year we'll be covering some of the same writing genres that Miss Jill covered last year in third grade, narrative, opinion, informational. In fourth grade we just go a little deeper. Uh, we'll also be covering speaking and listening standards and language or grammar standards, things like parts of speech, different kinds of sentences, um, where to put commas and other kinds of punctuation. Um, that's pretty much the things that we'll be covering every day. They don't need any special supplies except for, you know, if you want to pick up a pack of uh, notebook paper every now and then for them. Extra pencils always come in handy. And um, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple for writing. Well, this is Kim Lassiter. I'm part of the self-contained um, group of the fourth grade team. So if your child is not part of this class, you are actually finished. Um, thank you so much for um, attending and being part of our our online orientation. Um, as you know, I'm a self-contained classroom teacher. Um, the great thing about this, there are less transitions throughout the day, um, but know that I teach everything that the other uh, classroom teachers had placed on the previous slides as far as math, social studies, um, and reading. With a little bit of a different twist, I include for our reading, we do the response journal prompts and if you have any questions about that, you've probably been seeing them inside their folders. Um, they are due the following day. They are given ample class time to complete those. Um, as far as math goes, they really need to work on their um, multiplication tables just, just so that they're more fluent with those facts because as I explained to them, when they learned words and letters and sounds, that was the basis for learning how to read. Math facts are the same for what we will be doing in fourth grade as it states on the slide. When they know their multiplication facts fluently, they're able to apply it quickly to things such as division and reducing fractions and so on. So if you could practice those um, as much as possible, maybe 10, 15 minutes a each evening, that would really help them a lot. It does state on the slide that headphones are needed for your child and they will be stored 
um, individually in a Ziploc bag. If you aren't able to do that, I was able to obtain a small grant to get some uh, headphones for your child, so just let me know. Um, thank you again, parents, for completing and participating with the agenda. That is just another way that I would like for us to be able to communicate um, so that you know what your child is doing each day. And I do add notes. I'm starting to get um, better at that. And then you're more than welcome to add any back. I did include my cell phone number, so you are more than welcome to text me or call me or email me if you have any questions whatsoever. Thank you so much um, for joining us and have a good evening. I don't want to hear it. You did it. You did it. <laughs>